Hey, you listening, my brother in the blue shirt? Listen to what we teach it. You an Israelite according to the Bible. You are. Just you and your people. This ain't normal. This ain't normal. Living like this ain't normal. No other race of people accepts this. No other race of people accepts this. We the only ones that accept this stuff. We the only ones that accept it. You know how you know? But you know how you know deep down inside we know it's messed up? You saw the brawl that happened on the boat? What happened to black people when they saw them white people get the brakes beat off of them? Be honest. They got happy as hell. Yeah. Why would that make black people happy? Because we know deep, deep down in the deep depth of our soul, we know that they still messing us up today. Right. They still putting drugs in our communities to the day. They still putting guns in our communities till this day. They still putting stores like this into our communities, but we don't have it. Where's the closest grocery store at right here? Right now, why is plenty of black people around here, but why is the only place we can go to shop this little janky ass corner store? Bring it out. That's called a food desert. That means if they cut off all supplies and that was the only place you could come and get food, everybody just about in this neighborhood would die of starvation. That's what that means. We don't pay attention to that stuff. The closest superstore is miles away. And a lot of people don't have cars, so they'll starve to death. And guess who's controlling that? The same white people that got the brakes beat off they, they tail on that boat. You know why we got happy? Because we know that's still slave master. That's still the oppressor, even today, though we say we free. But they still got the ability to control your environment. Black people don't put themselves in the projects. Black people simply accept what they can afford because that's all that they give you to afford. Read it again. Keep reading it. Amos. Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. Listen carefully because you are the Israelites. God gave you laws to follow, sir. He gave you and your people laws to follow. Nobody else. This Bible is not about everybody. That's why. You ever wonder why there's a big old church here and... There's people strung out on the stairs and don't be pushed in front of it. How is that the house of God, but no godliness happens around it? Would, this, would, would, would dope and stuff be sold in front of a church in the white people community? How about the Arab man community? Raw community, we got a big old church like this, and all evil is happening around us. That's because they don't teach what's really in this Bible. I'm going to show you what's really in this Bible. Read. All the sinners of my people shall die. By the sword. God said when he come back, everybody that's my people, meaning the Israelites, they're going to die when I come back if they still sin it. You know what sin is according to the Bible? Anything God said don't do or to do, that's sin. So God said the sun's about to go down, right? Give me the Sabbath. The sun's about to go down. From sundown to sundown is the Lord's Sabbath. God said on that day, from Saturday, I mean Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you ought not to buy, sell, cook, or work. The only thing you do is fellowship and serve God. Meaning you gather with some people at a place, you read this Bible, you study, you can eat, you just can't cook. So you can eat cold chicken, cold pizza, sandwiches, salad, fruits, vegetables, yogurt, I, whatever, ice cream, whatever, as long as you don't have to cook it. You can do all those things. God said the sinners of my people, let's get sin real quick. Read sin. Watch this. All the sinners of God's people, meaning the Israelites, are going to die when he returns. Read. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Read. Whosoever commit of sin transgresseth also the law. God said whoever sins breaks his law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. So when God said all his sinners are going to die when he comes, everybody that's doing what God said don't do is going to die. Now let me ask you a question. You got a woman you're sleeping with? You got a lady you're sleeping with? Sleeping with? You don't got no lady you're sleeping with? Do most of our people in our community got a woman they're sleeping with? Yeah, they do, right? Hebrews 13 and 4. Watch this. Now, he said all the sinners of his people are going to die when he was meaning. God said this. Read. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So God says marriage is acceptable. Marriage is honorable. Read. And the bed undefined. And whatever thing you want to do with that young lady in that bedroom, if you marry to her and she to you, it's perfectly acceptable. Maybe you like getting your toes sucked. I don't give a damn. You married to her. It may be weird to somebody, but God say, if that's your woman, and that's, that's what do it for you, so be it. It's undefiled before God, read. But whoremongers, but whoremongers meaning people who land down, men specifically are whoremongers, land down. If a, if a man is a whoremonger, then what is a woman? Remember, you, you remember the movie Black Panther? Remember Eric Killmonger? His name meant he killed a lot of people. 
He was a killmonger, meaning he lived to kill. So what's a whoremonger? Someone that lives for the hoes to make it plain. A man who his whole existence is the, you ever heard of uh, a brother, especially on, it's Friday night. Huh? I never knew the meaning of those words. Yeah, that's what it is. So you, it's Friday night, right? What men typically say, our people typically say, I know I did, Friday night happened, first thing I ask is, hey man, where the hoes at? That's a whoremonger. If his mind is all on where the hoes at, that's what we're reading about. God said, but whoremongers and adulterers, and adulterers meaning those who are sleeping outside of marriage, read. God will judge. He's going to judge them. When Christ returns, if his people are sleeping with people that ain't their husband or their wife, God going to judge him. Right. He said, all the sinners of my people shall die. Judgment from God is kill. That's why when a lot of our people say only God can judge me, you don't understand what you're saying. What you're saying is, I'll accept God just going to kill me. Most people think when they say God going to judge me, they're going to hug him and tell him, it's okay. Jesus right. died for you. No. God said when he judges you, you are going to die. So when our people say, oh, man, only God can judge me, I don't want to hear that, you sound crazy, you accept, you, you basically saying, out of everything God is doing in heaven, he should get off his throne, come down here, and pay special attention to you and judge you. But if that happens, you're going to die a new death in earth. Your body, if God got to, just you, if God got to say, you know what, I got this one, Gabriel, don't worry about it, I got it, and come down and judge lowly on you, you're going to die in a way that nobody ever seen before if God himself has to do that God's not okay with 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 those he don't delight in seeing his people die and his people suffer his people are the Israelites give me that in the in a, uh second chronicle six. Second chronicle six and six I think yep that's it yeah get that I'm gonna show you that God's people are the Israelites and I'm gonna prove to you that you are the Israelites God's people because the Bible specifies certain things that happen to only his people read what you got you got it Six and six. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter six, verse six. But I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there, and have chosen David to be over my people, over his people, Israel. Who? Israel. That's the Israelites. Israel is a nation, and the people that come from the nation of Israel are the Israelites. God's people, all through this Bible, are these twelve tribes, which the Bible calls you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now I'm gonna prove that with the Bible. There's some things in the Bible that our people fit, right? For example, what is your race? Okay, black, African American, right? Okay, so black. Whatever they want to call you. Right, perfect, whatever they want to call you. But you weren't called black, African American, Negro, nigger, none of those things. Hell, the continent Africa wasn't called Africa until a white man named Leo Scipio's Africanus uh, conquered it during the second Punic Wars after he defeated Hannibal, a black man, right? Then he conquered the planet, I mean, the the, uh, the land and called it Africa. So you can't even say, I'm African, because that's a white man's name, right? So you don't know who you are. Uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, then we're going to get uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Now I'm going to show you in the Bible what God says about the Israelites and what will happen to them, showing you that these things only apply to you. No other race of people you ask them, what's your race? They're going to say, well, whatever y'all call me. That's only us. Asian people don't be like, nah, nah, nah. The, the white man called us Asians. No, they call themselves that. White people, nah, I'm European. No, they call themselves that. What's your race? African American. But white people came up with that title. Well, black, black people. Hey, white people came up with that. The Puerto Rican. Wait, wait, wait. White people came up with that title. Everything we call white people called us. Now I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Read. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knows his owner. So... I hate to say it this way, but God's talking about stupid animals. An ox is a very stupid animal. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And a jackass is a very stupid. Have you ever heard of a dumbass or a dumb ox? Yeah, stupid animals. Those, those names, they don't call those just because it's cool. They're stupid animals. A dumb ox and a dumbass. God said these two animals, read. But Israel, read it from the top. The ox knows his owner. A dumb ox knows who he belongs to. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass knows where he comes from. Read. But Israel, but these people, the Israelites, does not know. They don't know. You ask them what's their race or their nationality, they can only tell you what somebody told them they was. But Israel, read. my people, my, hold on, who's God's people? The Israelites. He said, but Israel don't know. 
my people, meaning the Israelites, does not consider. They don't even consider who and what and where they really come from. And if they do, it's always some answer that leads to more questions. Where you come from? Africa. Well, before Africa was called Africa, when a white man conquered it, it wasn't called that. So where you come from? Uh, dang, good question. I don't know. That's black. That's black people. Right. The Bible said that what happened to the Israelites. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch this. I'm gonna give you a couple more. Now I'm going to let you go on your way because I know you. Okay, all praise, all praise. That's a good spirit. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So, what race of people? Remember, a heritage encompasses where you come from, who you descend from, meaning who are your great, 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 great grandparents, right? What else? Your customs. What holidays did you keep? What dances did you have? What games did you play? What are some of the ancient things that your people did as a race? The Bible said that you would read, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. The Bible says that the Israelites would discontinue from their heritage. Today we call it the culture. But everything in our culture is stupid, murder, gangs, females twerking, where the hoes at? That's the culture. We have to have rap music, murder and twerking as our heritage because we've discontinued from our own heritage. So now everything that we, we get that's a cultural heritage was given to us by the same person that gave us our name. Read. That I gave thee. The heritage that God gave us was Israelites. You weren't supposed to bow. You were above all people. Not equal. We, we traded in the culture for a, a culture that had us here for a culture that put us here. Right. And I'm going to prove that. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. So because you didn't want your heritage, I'm going to cause you to serve other people, and they're going to give you whatever heritage they want to give you. Which are your enemies? Because friends don't do this to friends. Friends don't sit up there and let you believe your race is African American when they know what you were called before you were called African American. Right. It's not a friend. That's an enemy. Only an enemy will hide your true identity from you. We in the land which thou knowest not, and we were brought over here to a land he didn't know. God said, Because you didn't serve me, I'm gonna make you forget who you are, and I'm gonna make you serve people who are your enemies, and they're gonna take you into a land that you don't know. America, Asia, I, wherever they scattered us, we didn't know that land that they took us to. We didn't know the language of that people until they beat it into our behinds, probably like this, hung up on a tree, whooping it into our back. Or branding it on our shoulder. You, you. What's your name? Johnson. How you know that? Because when I turn around on my right shoulder, it says Johnson branded into my shoulder because I belong to the Johnson plantation. That's how we got our heritage because we pissed off God because we are the sons and daughters of God. We are the only people that God cares about. What is the nation? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Family.